Orgen County Borough Council provides hundreds of different services for the 140,000 residents living across our county borough. Our borough is diverse and the population continues to grow at a fast pace, meaning the demand and the cost of providing these services continues to rise. In 2017 to 2018, we will be spending nearly £400 million on public services. This money comes from government funding, grants, council tax and fees and charges. Often with something like grants, however, how we can spend the money is set by Welsh Government. This budget is then split amongst our key services. It's important to us that this money is spent wisely and that everything we do is as efficient and effective as possible. Since 2012, we have taken £38 million out of council budgets, mostly as a result of reductions in our government funding. Some of the key things we have done to achieve this include selling 67 assets that were no longer required, saving £13 million, and the development of Arwen Cultural Trust, which is saving us £315,000 a year. In some areas, we have also reduced what we do in order to protect other services. We remain determined to protect services as much as possible and support those most in need. While we don't know exactly what the future will hold, we are making plans to reduce our budget by a further £37 million by 2021. We are confident that through our priorities of supporting a successful local economy, helping residents to become more self-reliant and making smarter use of our resources, we will become more sustainable and compact. Over the next few years, we have proposals to both reduce our budget as well as generate income. One of the major challenges for us is to meet expectations for some of the more visible services we provide, such as maintenance of our roads, recycling and street cleaning. We know these are important services to residents, so we will be proposing ways to make these types of services more efficient, whilst also making reductions. For example, we are proposing to save up to £500,000 a year in energy costs to move to a new system whereby essential safety lighting, such as that around signs and junctions, for example, are in operation through the night, but we would shut off street lights in other areas where it is not required. We would carry out risk assessments to ensure this is only done in areas where it is safe to do so. Additionally, we currently carry out the majority of highway repairs during daytime hours, which means more disruption to road users, but at a lower cost to taxpayers. We want to know what you think about carrying out more overnight repairs, which cause less disruption to road users, but at a higher cost to taxpayers. At the moment, the council subsidises 85% of the costs of maintaining the borough's parks and playing fields. If sports teams and those using the facilities could take over the running of the buildings, this would release money, but still keep the number and quality of facilities, such as children's playgrounds and pitches, open and maintained rather than having to reduce them. We want to know if you agree with this idea. Some councils across the UK are investing in property to benefit from rental income. This could mean that we look to secure premises in areas outside of the county borough in order to make a better return on investment so we can potentially rely less on other income streams. There is a risk, however, that factors outside of our control, such as a recession or market changes, could impact on any income generated. Do you think this is something we should consider? We want to hear from you on these and our other proposals. Help us to bridge the gap by having your say on how we can shape Bridgen's future together. Complete our survey by visiting www.bridgend.gov.uk forward slash future.